you got to, like, you ha you are, like, instant, you are the champion, you know, and I am, like, a fan or whatsoever, someone supporter or whatsoever from, yeah. you know, social media. I can say what the fuck I want to say to you. I can talk shit to your face, and you just have to be professional. That's not right, right? Yeah. But that's yeah. how these guys have to behave, because once they're not professional, or oh, people will look at them, yeah, you know, they are not uh, the right Mr. Olympia, blah, blah, blah. He's not professional. He's not. So you are not even allowed to defend yourself when people pick on you. You understand what I mean? Yeah. You just have to shut your mouth and try to react in a, such a professional way. That's stupid, man. You know, so for me, yes, that's why I'm like, it's a tough job, you understand, to... For someone who wants to come up for himself, you know, to, yeah. you know, you have to watch your words, watch what you say, watch what you do, you understand, because people are watching you and they're so, just waiting, <laughs> waiting to picnic every little thing that you yeah. do, you know. So, so how do you deal with that? Because obviously you, you want to stay true to yourself yeah. and you don't want people to be obviously disrespecting you in comments or videos, etc. How, how do you deal with that? Do you, do you reply in the back? Beginning, do you the, I, did, I did that before in the beginning. I'm like, man, why do I bring myself to the level? Understand, I don't even know them. They don't yeah, know yeah. me. You know, why, why should I bother with them? And if I want to react, why better react on the positive stuff that people send to me instead of reacting to the negative one that people send to me? Because once I start feeding the negative one, they will start, you know, they yeah. will start getting more of those and negative people. You know? and yes, and the positive ones, I will lose them. And I need the positive ones, not the negative ones. You understand? So now I don't even waste my time. If you say something that it doesn't like, that I don't like it, you have to see it like this. It's my home. You come to my house and you are insulting me. I will kick you out. Simple. And the same thing with the, with the social media. I just block you. I don't even talk to you. Just block you. Bye-bye. Simple. You know, so I don't even waste my time, waste my breath, energy, replying. I don't do that no more. In the beginning, sometimes, in um, there was a time they were, like, threatening my son. That was with the Louis Marco stuff. Yeah, then his fans oh, started shit. threatening my son on my DM page. You know, and yeah, but listen, when you come to that, like, I have a past, you understand? I have a past. I'm not proud of it, you understand? And, yeah. You know, I'm not, you know, like, you know, uh, glorifying it. You know, but when it comes to my family, especially when it comes to my kids, I yeah, swear yeah. to God, I will do anything, anything. You, you understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So for these guys to talk like that, you don't know me. You know, when you face me and you say that to me, I'm like, yes. kill you just, you know, for, for no reason, because you are saying that, you understand? Yeah. And that's not what I want to do. But once you come to my family, you can insult me. You can insult my mom. You can insult my dad. It's okay. You understand? But don't come to my kids. You understand? Wishing them, I wish he broke his back and, and that kind of stuff. You know? Yes, brother. Yes. yes. And those, and listen, I, I even offered the guy a ticket to come to Amsterdam to come and do what he wanted to do with me. I offered him a ticket. I offered him $10,000 if he came and do what he wanted to do. You understand? So I, people is, yeah, but that was no time. Now I don't even stress myself anymore yeah, about yeah. it. I just blocked So was you. this you all after the Louis Marco incident, was it? Yeah, bro.